Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Sunday, June the 12th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I would like to say thank you to my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I do thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Pisces? Cards are flying. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Pisces out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for Pisces. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups, Self Love, Self Worth, Self Team. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, emotional imp independence, loving yourself first. First card out. The hermit. The hermit. The hermit is in this gorgeous casket. There's that star in a jar you all have. He's been in there for a while. He's got a scruffy beard, scruffy hair. Um, the hermit talks about healing. Taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, Recuperate, rejuvenate, heal, heal, heal. Someone break your heart, maybe. What is crossing this? Oh, the lover. The lover. My non committal lover. Knight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are all about love. Cups are blue in this deck of blue flowers. A blue archway of flowers, it looks like. Blue sombrero, blue outfit. He's got heart-shaped eyes and nose, but you can't see it. He is the lover. He is charming, handsome or pretty, a sweet talker, a smooth operator. Here is my cup, Pisces. But he can be a non-committal lover. He is a knight. Knights are less mature than kings or queens. So he might have a trail of broken heart in his wake. I wouldn't trust uh, the Bardsville. I wouldn't trust the Knight of Cups. Consciously known. The Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups. Queen and King, King of Cups, they're loving. Mature. Queens are more mature than knights. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are talking about love. This is the Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are blue in this deck. She have blue flowers, a blue sombrero, a blue dress. She's also got this heart-shaped red and silver brooch, and her heart, her eyes are heart-shaped eyes and nose. The Queen of Love. She's loving, she's caring, she's compassionate, she's a nurturer, she's a good parent, she's a good partner. Unconscious, King of Swords, King of Communication, Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Swords are yellow in this deck, we got a yellow background, a ye yellow brim on his sombrero, a shirt, medals, the King of Swords. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to bring the King of Swords honest, clear communication or you will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. He makes head over heart decisions. If you are honest and clear with the King of Swords, he will be very loving and very loyal. But if you cross him, he will cut you out of his life. Recent past. The Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are all about love. Pages are messengers, so love message. Romantic message sounds better, though, doesn't it? Cups are blue in this deck. We got blue flowers, a blue background, blue printed headdress, blue dress. 
She's also got a cup with heart-shaped eyes and nose. Her face has heart-shaped eyes and nose. And her Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas skull spoon. Romantic messages. Near future, the Knight of Swords. Knights are less mature than kings or queens. Again, swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are yellow in this deck. We've got a yellow background. There's some yellow flowers. He's got a yellow... Um, a bulletproof vest? I don't know. Some kind of a vest. Swords are, swords are all about honest, clear communication. The If you do not bring the Knight of Swords honest, clear communication, he will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. But since he's immature, he can come off as blunt, brash, abrasive, and this person can rush in and out of your life. Not a consistent energy. Not a consistent energy. In and out, back and forth. <sighs> Where do you find yourself? The Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Uh, I think this lover might have broken your heart. The Knight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cats, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like he is sitting in... Uh, his, ha his feet are in a pool of water. Crying, probably. This person is sad. This is, person is indifferent. This person is apathetic. He's looking at these three spilled cups over here. But Source Spirit Universe is ready to give you that cup of self-love. Need to love yourself before you can leave some love somebody else. So it looks like a little bit of healing is what you need at this time. You need to love yourself first. External influences. The Hierophant, the Hierophant, this talks about commitment, engagement, marriage perhaps. This is order, tradition, stability, commitment, engagement, marriage, the Hierophant. He has got what looks like a shower curtain or some kind of mural behind him, which I think is gorgeous. Um, he's got a black sombrero with pom-poms. A big long beard, long hair, and a spirit board. Commitment. Oh my goodness, people. I'm so full. I ate so much today. Um, hopes and or fears. The Emperor. This is Aries energy. The Emperor. The Emperor is divine masculine, self-sufficient, independent, paternal energy. Um, the emperor is shown sitting in his power, knows his worth, um, cool throne it is, looks like, um, I don't know, cement or something, I'm not sure. The emperor, sitting in his throne, sitting in his power, knows his worth, he has got his sombrero on, his military garb, he's got a scepter, he's got a gun. Um, he can come off as uh, stubborn with a my where the highway attitude, but the emperor stands up and does what's best for him and does not take shit from anybody. Like the knight of like the king knight the king of swords, knight of swords will cut you out of his life. Overall outcome: the five of pentacles. Pity play, pity play. You can see these three, uh, five um, green skulls. Five of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is playing games with you. Uh, I need a ride to the store. I need a ride to the bank. Can you lend me $50? Uh, I can't get a ride anywhere else. You're the only one that understands. I got nobody else to call. I need money. Um, can you can you take can you take me out for supper? Blah 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 blah. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. This is a pity 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 play. You deserve better. Could be the non-committal lover. 
or the night of communication. Kind of more, kind of more like uh, the night of communication, I think. I would say. On the bottom of the deck, nine cups, self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, emotional independence, loving yourself first. You need to love yourself before you can love someone else. You need to love yourself before you can truly let someone love you. Nine cups. I'm single because I know I deserve someone just as fantastic as I am, and I'm willing to wait for that person. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, love yourself first. I'm waiting for someone. I'm waiting for my true love. I'm waiting for my true love. Three of Cups. Let your friends help you. Let your friends help you. Um, if you're working on your healing, dealing with this non-committal lover, dealing with this inconsistent night of communication, kind of concentrating on a broken heart, trying to get rid of this person who's trying to uh, do pity plays on you. Let your friends help you. You see these, or three of cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You see these three people, they're sitting around a table, they're having drinks, they're talking. Let your friends help you. If you are healing, call in your friends. Ooh, and we got a passion, a new beginning. Ace of Wands. <clears throat> Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Wands are red in this deck. We've got a red skull. There's flowers. And it's a big, uh, big plant. Passionate new beginning. A new idea. A new hobby. A new way to make money. It's going to talk about lust and somebody's wand. Male or female. A passionate new beginning. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cups are blue. We got some blue in here. Um, she's got a crown of skulls, heart-shaped eyes and nose. There's purple flowers. She's the skulls are crying. This is walking away from something that no longer serves. If you're with someone that knows non that is non-committal, if you're with someone that's rushing in and out of your life, if you're with someone someone that's um. Using pity plays on you, you need to walk away for your own good. Nine, uh, eight cups, walking away from something that no longer serves. I don't find this to be a bad card. I find it to be a good card. Stand up and do what's best for you. The Emperor stands up and does what's best for him. King of Swords stands up and does what's best for him. Walk away from something that no longer serves. Because look at... After nine cups, self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, I'm single because I know I deserve someone as fantastic as I am. You can't fake this, though. You really got to think it. And comes ten cups. Abundance and love. Ultimate abundance and love. There's your little love shack. Property. Uh, cups are blue in this deck. Blue flowers. Blue flowers. <laughs> blue Blue flowers, a big blue butterfly, your love shack, your property, happy family, a couple, children if you want, pets if you want, abundance and love. So we've got healing, which should be your job right now. The queen of love, king of communication, romantic message, commitment. Standing up and doing what's best for you. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Let your friends help you. Passionate new beginning. Walking away from something that no longer serves. And abundance and love. We had a non-committal lover. A inconsistent uh, night of communication. Wants to talk to you. Will come in and say, ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. Then leave. Then back. Then leave. Nah. Love yourself first. You need to love yourself before you can love someone else. Work on healing here. Don't fall for the pity, please. Come to the edge. Take a leap of faith. 
Aries energy. Look at her. She is ready to jump off the love cliff. Well, and she's going to fly. I think she has wings. Take a leap of faith. Start a brand new beautiful journey. You see all the hearts there? The love cliff. Jumping off the love cliff. Abundance and love. Serendipity. I was thinking that's finding someone you're not looking for. It. That's generally the way things happen. And exchanging gifts. Well, uh, I don't know. Father's Day gifts. I don't know. Maybe you're giving gifts on. Maybe you're giving gifts on um, the summer summer solstice. I'm not sure. Uh, exchanging gifts. This uh, she look. This look. She looks like a butterfly. Um, it reminds me of those old music boxes where you had those um, ballerinas flipping around. And we have uh, a cat here. Ooh. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. If it's a friend, yes. Reach out for your friends. If it's somebody trying to come back, like this non committal lover or this inconsistent knight, no. Reconciliations for friends, uh, not for lovers, especially if they've hurt you. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. The temperance. Sagittarius energy. Divine timing. Divine timing. Trusting that source spirit universe will give you what you need at its proper time. And death and rebirth. End of a painful cycle. Moving on to a new cycle. So we had non-committal lover, inconsistent lover, love yourself first, pity play. I don't know if I went through these already. Healing, queen of love, king of communication, romantic message, commitment, signing up and doing what's best for you, self-love, self-work, self-esteem, let your friends help you. Passionate new beginning, walked away from something that no longer serves, and abundance in love. Serendipity, come to the edge, exchanging gifts, rom romantic reconciliation, make the effort, romantic feelings, divine timing, death and rebirth. All right, yeah. Healing, queen of love, self-love, self-worth, self-esteem, walking away from something that no longer serves, abundance in love, standing up and doing what's best for you. All right, Pisces, have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.